Welcome to Jay's personal finance video for this week. All right, big news. Big news, of course, is uh, our president, our fearless leader, Donald J. Trump, is in the hospital recovering from COVID. He got the dreaded virus. So we're going to talk about how that's going to impact stimulus talks. We're going to talk about the economy, uh, unemployment. I've got an update on my unemployment account. All right. I'm going to look at some questions and comments from viewers. I'm going to share with you a way to make some money shopping. And I'm going to end up with a tip on how to stay true to your vision. All right. All that coming up. Let's get into it. Hey, everybody. It is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. Drinking my Nespresso at 1025 Sunday morning. Normally I make this uh, Friday morning or Saturday morning, but uh, I was up in Lake Tahoe resting and relaxing and I just got back yesterday afternoon. So uh, this is the news as of Sunday. Let's jump right in. Well, the number one news has to be that President Trump has COVID-19. That has a lot of impact on the markets, the stock market, and also on the stimulus talks. We see here for the Washington Post, the president urges a stimulus deal, but obstacles remain. So what does this article say? President Trump on Saturday called for Congress to pass a stimulus package. So this is from the hospital, urging swift action while being treated for the novel coronavirus, despite significant obstacles remaining between negotiators over an agreement. Okay. Um, and then at the bottom here, he says, our great USA wants and needs stimulus. Work together and get it done. Trump tweeted on Saturday afternoon from the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. All right. So he is feeling the heat, right? He is in the hospital. He can't go out and do what he does, which is, you know, do these big shows in front of a lot of people. He can't be really out in front of the news like he is normally because he's convalescing and getting all kinds of medicines and things. And he hasn't even gotten to what's typically the worst part um, of this uh, two, typically a two week or so process of getting through this virus. So here's what we see. Uh, Trump coronavirus diagnosis changes dynamic of stimulus talks. Nancy Pelosi says she listed areas of dispute such as unemployment insurance. Democrats have proposed 600 per week in benefits while the White House has supported 400 weekly. All right. So what we're seeing is that uh, the White House is now doing what we've all wanted the White House to do two months ago, which is say, come together, Democrats, Republicans, come together. Let's work this out. The, the American people need money. The economy needs money. That'll help with the stock market. That'll help small businesses. So number two, the economy, economy not doing great economy not doing great at all. Um, still like 7.9% of people are unemployed. That's a huge, huge number, right? 20 to 30 million people are on unemployment. And that, those funds, as we all know, have come down from an extra 600 to an extra 300. And that's over now. So now you just got the, the base limit. Jobs report shows fewer hires as recovery lost, loses momentum. And then we see another 800,000 Americans filed for unemployment claims last week. So those are new claims. Those are new claims, new people that have um, lost their jobs and are looking for ways to bring some money in to, uh, you know, feed their children, pay their bills, keep the lights on, all the things that we all need to do in order to survive. Number three, unemployment. So, of course, this impacts all of us. We all live in different states. We all have different, um, you know, <laughs> money coming at all different times. Sometimes in some states you're getting $1,800 at once. In California, we're getting it very, very piecemeal. Here's what uh, happened to me this week. Um, on the 28th, I got my normal $900. That's every other week I get $450 a week. And then uh, they dropped another $600 in my account um, that same day. Okay. so. That puts me at five weeks now at the extra $300. And hopefully there'll be a six week. Ideally, um, the stimulus package gets passed and we get $600 retroactive um, going back to the end of July all the way through um, January. 
fingers crossed on that one. Okay, number four, questions and comments from viewers. Uh, overall, the comments are pretty positive and I really appreciate that. That's nice to hear. Um, at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you uh, a little tip about how to stay true to your vision. I'm gonna share with you some shade that was thrown on me, uh, but let's look at what I've got right now. Um, so this was from the, uh, the video I did too last week. What did it take for me to become an Uber and Lyft driver again? Um, BDSM Bobby, I'm mainly concerned about getting COVID. I am too. I'm at a high risk and it's not worth it to be a driver. Too much risk. I agree. Um, Pittens X, they would need to raise the rates. Okay, that's, uh, that's not going to happen, but uh, I, I agree. Uh, the rates have dropped consistently over the four years I've been a driver. Uh, mostly good stuff. Um, it's talking about traveling. Okay. I'm relocating to Malaysia once travel to that country is permitted without the 14 day quarantine. I think you'll be waiting a long time. Um, but I'm with you. It's, it's time to travel. Bob Bias. I'm not going back until all this is fixed and I can comfortably enjoy, uh, enjoy your videos, man. Thank you. Um, so he's agreeing it's going to take a, a, a vaccine. Um, Scott says, I anticipate returning early next year. Okay. Um, and then he has some opinions about Prop 22. Um, and then this last one, all valid points, working on my plan A and B. Looks like somebody named Brakely. Um, thanks. Yeah, get, get working on that plan, plan B. That's all I'm doing right now. My plan B is my plan A. Okay, the next one I wrote was uh, last, uh, last Monday, stimulus talks. Set to restart, a way to make 3000 a month in California. Okay, Erwin, Jay, would you be so kind to share with me the app that measures your sleep? Yes, I will share with you that um, once I get through this, uh, this, uh, this graphic. Um, Jay, you seem like you could be doing so much more than Uber. Sheryl James, I'm not sure what you're saying. Um, obviously, I'm not driving. I haven't driven since February. I don't think I will ever drive again. Um, and I am doing a lot of other things. Um, so thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. Um, truth fears guilty. There is no more stimulus. I don't agree. I think I think more stuff is coming. And then uh, Ali asks, how safe are hotels because of COVID-19? So the hotels I've been at, um, well, I've basically been going to Harvey's um, up in um, South Lake Tahoe. And man, they are all about, you got to wear a mask. Um, they don't have any like food in your room. They don't even come in and make your beds anymore right um it's very bare bones uh, because they don't want a lot of interaction right so um i think it's pretty safe they really do okay what i'd like to do now is answer erwin's question and what we've got here is the fitbit so this is called the fitbit charge 3 that is what i i use since the beginning of the year my daughter gave me that as a christmas gift and that measures your sleep so you're wearing this all the time it measures your sleep how many how many steps you've taken it gives you all kind of great great data then about two months ago, I switched to the Aura Ring, O-U-R-A. Now, this is not inexpensive. This is three to four hundred dollars, depending on what kind you got. Um, this is the one I got here, uh, which is kind of this brandished um, look. It's not really shiny because I didn't like the shiny one. But um, see, it's got all these sensors and this this replaces the Fitbit and it gives you actually a little bit more information than the Fitbit. So I would recommend the Aura if you're really, really, really interested. That's what's on my ring right there. So you see how that um, it's very understated and it's not this whole thing on your wrist, but it does. Number five, Rakuten to save some money, some dinero. So what is Rakuten? Here's how it works. You install the app, then you shop and then you save money in the, in the form of cash back and the stores pay us, we pay you. So you can see Macy's, Groupon, Best Buy, Kohl's. A lot of people use Groupon to get coupons, Nike, um, Dick's Sporting Goods, if you're trying to get uh, kettlebells or, or uh, dumbbells to work out. And uh, once you're with Rakuten, if you recommend it to other people and they, um, they spend $30, uh, you get $30, right? So we've got the link for the, our Rakuten, um, so you can click on it and, uh, and get it set up. And then if you share it with other people, you can make $30 if they spend $30, right? So that's another way that you can make some extra money, not only referring it to other people, but also in saving money on your expenditures. Okay, sixth and final segment. 
say what? So, you know, <laughs> so we all have this vision of our lives, yeah? And my big, my, my personal development tip is don't let the naysayers impact you, okay? Life is gonna come up and challenge you in a lot of different ways now that you've made this big commitment and other people are gonna try and pull you down to their level, right? You're trying to create this great business, this great coaching business, that's what I teach people how to do, and other people are, are gonna pull you down, even if they're, they're trying to help you, right? They're gonna throw a lot of fear and a lot of shade on you, and you gotta just ignore it. Keep focused on your vision, and don't let that noise distract you. So here's some shade that was thrown on me. Uh, this was from one of the videos. Someone named Excelsiors. Does Jay still live with his parents? So this turned into a whole rabbit hole. Someone named Navy Elite Seal had some good question. Like, what does it matter if I'm here taking care of my mother who has Alzheimer's? I mean, what does that have to do with my feelings about uh, Prop 22 or anything that I write about, right? It's kind of nuts, but uh, this is stuff, like I said, you just gotta have your blinders on, right? I mean, I have to look at this stuff because I, I put parts of it into my video. Um, he's never lived anywhere but his childhood bedroom, right? Okay, so I've been to 37 countries. I've lived in three different countries for over a year. Uh, it's just crazy. And then Amanda Farron, God bless you. She uh, stands up for me, really, really nice. So uh, my point being, uh, you know, because I do a lot of this public stuff, I get a lot of shade thrown at me, right? When you uh, pursue a plan B, you start a business, you start anything new, um, you're gonna hear criticism, you're gonna hear questioning. Um, you know, is that the safest thing to do? Is that the most secure thing to do? Probably not, right? It's probably one of the least secure things you can do is branch out and start your own company, start your own coaching business, start your own consulting business, start whatever gig that you're gonna do. Um, and you just gotta ignore the noise. Just realize it's gonna happen, but just ignore it. So that's my tip for you for this week. Key takeaways, pray for uh, a, a long recovery time uh, for President Trump so he gets better, um, but doesn't get right back out there too quick because he could have a relapse, right? Um, hope, hope, all we can do is hope that uh, this does actually get the stimulus bill passed and we can start getting those UI, those unemployment benefits uh, retroactive at $600. Um, even if it's $400, we're okay with that. $400 from you know the end of July all the way through um, January, that's still, that's still pretty darn great, right? Still pretty great, all right? Hang in there, keep working on your plan B. Um, this is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy saying thanks for watching. Please give this a thumbs up. That helps more people to see it. And if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, subscribe, um, set up notifications so you can know when we do our next YouTube channel and you'll also be notified when there are more videos. We do a video every single day. So there's lots of good content. Y'all go ahead and have a great day. Be safe, wear a mask. And uh, I'll see you next time.